Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Welcome back. My name is the Open Field TV and we are back with another video. I just said that again. Today we're gonna to talk about Absalom, a type of Satan. But first, if it's your first time, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you can be alert when I put a new video out. Now Quick backstory before we begin, Absalom, a type of Satan. If you guys remember, in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 11, we had David, you know, killing Uriah because he had taken his wife Bathsheba. And of course, Satan, um, Nathan came and gave him the story. And he said, wow, that man shall return fourfold. Well, God said, you're going to have four sons that will be killed or dead. In chapter 12 of 2nd Samuel, Samuel, I think it's verse number 25 or verse number 15, we have the first son of Bathsheba, dead, baby is dead, no name, but we give you a name. So that was the first son that died. Then we had the second son, um, Absalom, and of course we had uh, Amnon and Adonijah. Amnon decided to um, essay his sister Tamar. I don't know why he would do that, but that's what he did to his sister Tamar. Um, basically, he raped her. And Absalom decided to revenge his sister and he killed Amnon. That's two. Remember, fourfold, the first baby boy died of sickness. The Lord struck him. And then Absalom killed Amnon. Third one is Adonijah. We're going to skip Absalom because we're going to we're gonna talk about him more. Adonijah, in the book of Second First King chapter 1, he decided to set himself up. He decided to set himself up as king, even though God said he was Solomon. And when Solomon became king, then he killed Adonijah for treason. Now, and that was in First Kings chapter two. Now, let's talk about Absalom. And we're gonna talk about Absalom in the in the in what he did. So the reason why I say that Absalom is a type of Satan is there were um, similarities between the two of them. And let me actually show you exactly what I am talking about. So first thing. They are both uh, sons of the king, right? We have Lucifer, or Satan, son of the king of the universe, king of heaven, God. And we have Absalom, son of the king, Israel, David. So they are both sons of the king. So that's the first thing. Second thing, they both conspired a rebellion against the king. Their own father, who gave birth to them, those two sons decided to conspire a rebellion against their father, the king. So, you can already see, very interestingly, that Absalom and Satan, they have kind of like a similar pathway. Why do I say that? Well, when, when I read, we see here we have Absalom conspiracy. 
and the same way we have Absalom conspiracy, and his thing was he wanted to take um to overthrow his father, but he did it in a disguise. What was the disguise? The disguise was Absalom rose up early and stood beside the way of the gate, verse number two, and it was so that when any man that had a controversy came to the to the king for judgment, Absalom called him and said, Of what city art thou? And he said, From the tribe of Israel. And he said, See thy matters are good and right, but there is no man, verse number three, but there is no man deputed of the king to hear thee. And Absalom said, Oh, that I were made judge in the land that every man which had any sweet or cause might come to me and I would do him justice. And so that's how Absalom um, wanted to try to get the people to be with in his side against his father so he can bring about a rebellion in the kingdom. Satan decided to bring about a, re a rebellion. Bible doesn't say how he did it. But in Isaiah chapter 14, verse number 12, Bible, Isaiah is saying that, Lucifer, how you have fallen from heaven because you said in your heart, I will ascend into the heaven, verse number 13. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God and in the angels of God. I will also sit upon the mount of the, of the congregation. I will be like the Most High. Satan wanted to overthrow God's kingdom. Now, Bible doesn't say exactly what it is. But when I read the spirit of prophecy, but it it tells us that Satan wanted to change God's law. And I think this is exactly why in the book of Daniel chapter 8, the Bible says that the beast power, not 8, chapter 7, the beast power also wanted to change the times and the law, meaning the law of God. If you read the whole chapter, you're going to see it there. Um, the beast power had one thing in mind. Uh, he would think to change times and law. So, yeah, he would think to change times and law. And that's in chapter 7. So Satan couldn't do it in heaven. And so he is trying to do it now. And it says here, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear the scent of the Most High, and think to change times and the laws. So Satan's way in the heaven was trying to persuade people if they listened to him, it would be better for everybody else. The same way Absalom in his conspiracy he tried to get people to listen to him and make them think that he had their purpose in mind. In reality, he was conspiring to overthrow his father's kingdom David. Same for Satan wanting to overthrow his father's kingdom, God Almighty. So, the next thing, man, the next thing we found is they were both defeated. Of course, Satan was defeated. Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 12, let me go there quickly, Verse number 7, Bible says, There was war in heaven, Michael, Jesus, and his angel fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels, 
and he prevailed not, and they was kicked out of heaven. So Jesus won the battle in heaven against Satan, and he was kicked out. David and his army won the battle against his son, Absalom. Now, this is the interesting part. Absalom was cast into a large pit. That's very, I was like, wow. Absalom was cast, was cast into a large pit. Satan, in chapter 20, 20, Bible says, the angel came down having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand and laid hold of the dragon that supped of old, the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And what? And cast him into the bottomless pit. So interesting, both Absalom and Satan are cast into the pit. Wow. Not only that, the Bible says, not only that, the Bible says, after Absalom was cast into the bottomless pit, Bible says this. They smote him, right? The Joab took what? Three dots. I don't know why three dots. In some tradition, I say three javelin or three spears. And thrust into the heart of Absalom. The next thing they did, they smote him, and they said they cast him, verse 17, they cast him into a great pit in the wood, and they laid a very great heap of stone upon him. Absalom is cast into the, in a sense, bottomless pit. Satan is cast into a bottomless pit. They are both shut in and covered with something. Absalom is, there was laid a great heap of stone above the pit and Satan was shut up in the bottomless pit and set a seal upon him. Meaning, both of them cannot go anywhere. Isn't that interesting? Both cast in the in the pit, both were shut up in it, one with a stone, the other with a seal. Which means once the stone is upon it, you cannot touch it. Especially if it has the seal on it. So once it's sealed, anyone who touches it would declare war. I found this very interesting that Absalom's end and Satan's end are similar. They both, both pathways are similar. Both sons of the king they both conspired to bring a rebellion against the king or to overthrow the king their father third they both were defeated and fourth they were both thrown into a bottomless pit and shut up in one covered with stone the other covered with a seal. I'm going to stop it right here because I don't make it too long. But guys, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And that subscribe button. As well as that notification bell.
please you can put your comment down in the comment section below let me know what you guys think about this does it make sense or not let me know if you have any questions you can also put it there and I'll do my best to make a video about it. If you have videos I can react to, you can put it there in the link below. I'll put my email as well this time. So you guys can actually send it to me if you want me to explain certain things you would like to know about. Thank you guys for watching the video. It was again the Open World TV. Hope to see you guys again. Until then, bye for now.